Hi there. In this video we are going to be assembling the frame of an IKEA PAX wardrobe and uh, we are going to put two doors on it, a smaller one, a bigger one, with uh, a mirror on front of them. In theory this is what you need to assemble it and yes if you cannot find this it means you opened up the box upside to the town that's what we did so needed to take everything out to find it yes ideally have two persons uh, do this job and uh, this is what you're getting these are separate this is a box with uh, basically everything else and uh, this is one of the sides, the second side, top and bottom, or reverse top and bottom, who knows. Those two little pieces there, and this is the back of it, which uh, is actually split in two in the middle. And you do something like this to open it up, voila, and this is what you will see inside of it. So. Let's start following the manual. Step number one. This needs to be installed. So I will get them uh, out of here, take the plastic protection off and install them in the furthest away from the bent holes, which means this one, these ones. And as you can see in the third and fourth hole, and you need to take care to have this right next to it this channel so do not install them on this side because this is not what they are showing us here so let me do that now okay this is installed this is installed all the screws and whatnot are there and uh, let's go to the next step we start installing these standoffs as they show you here they show you exactly in what holes they need to go top in the topmost bottom in the third one go obviously this was installed wrong it needed to be a bit lower same with that one i will move now and continue with installing uh, these things one in this hole and one in uh, this hole in mirror we do the same on the other part also installed the standoffs in the bottom part, like they tell us right here. And in mirror I will do it on uh, this side. And then we use the wooden towels where they tell us in the top and bottom plates. Put the wooden towels in, small hammer, same on the other side. You cannot miss the holes because they are the tiniest ones from these plates they don't go anywhere else they would just fall out okay next you choose one of these which are identical to be your bottom plate into which the feet will be mounted because we only have two feet in the front part and the back part will be attached to the wall with that thing right there so this basically go like that in the hole and you hammer them down and you prepare the little feet which where are you going? Uh, basically, we'll clip like this. And we have one little fit which screws into that after that is already hammered in. So, hammer time. That thing went in. And when in doubt, get a bigger hammer. Now, we can prepare this. Simply screw it in for as much as it uh, allows us without uh, damaging anything. We will decide the height later. Also put the wooden dowels into those little things. So those are prepared and now if your room is 2 meters and 10 centimeters tall above that, you are good to go. You can install this. If it's uh, a bit below, you will have issues and you need to go to... Oh, what page is it? 21 and start from there because you will basically be assembling this thing on the wall 
for us no issues we continue to assemble it uh, in this position right here so we put the ends on top of those things and we will be installing these things in the holes from where is it from the other part and this will actually latch onto this thing something like this and you cannot get it undone unless you want you rotate it and yeah want to disassemble it so let's do that now when assembling these things you can see what they will latch onto already there the arrow needs to be pointing downwards so you have the big opening and you would rotate it until the arrow is pointing upwards and that means it's pulling and it's tightened like this one for example installed also these things now freestanding for the moment installed the rear one camera focus today anyway and uh, notice a little bump on this one from the factory and another bump on this one from the factory nothing that I can do don't really care about them just wanted to point out that you might also get them another huge hit right here and <sighs> yeah it's a bit annoying luckily for me it's on the side that goes against the wall so it's not going to be seen but quality control should be a bit better and the packages were not damaged at all so it's not from that for sure turn this thing upside down put this uh, opened up remember to put the white side inside of the cabinet and measure diagonally to make sure you have uh, same dimension on one diagonal as onto the, the other and we have the same one so at this point these are 90 degrees and this is a, a correct rectangle if you don't do this this thing will be leaning and look really bad we need to hammer in all of this into the edges to make everything steady and stable and hold this thing on the back of it and just dropped something and they tell you to use this little spacer thingy uh, the problem with this little spacer thingy is that it's not set up too well as you can see we have almost one centimeter here but the little spacer thingy makes you put this at the bare minimum into this material and it will break I tried and it breaks so I will go by hand and install them a bit deeper and at an angle so I don't uh, pop out inside of this uh, dresser or oh, wardrobe sorry so yeah nice gadget doesn't work this time yep it's standing now but as you can see a big problem and it's on the side that I can see so in all reality this should take a trip back to Ikea and they should send me another one but I don't have time so I'm going to try and squeeze it with a vise and deal with it kind of sucks this is what I did in theory hopefully it straightened that piece I, I cannot over tighten it because I will make marks with the wood in this so this is the best that I can do. From this side it still has the tent, it's impossible to remove it. But the door will be here from the, from the lateral side, I hope it looks better at least. Sadly this is the best that could be done. This thing is basically free floating at this point. So no matter what I do it will not go fully in. Ah, Ikea, get your, your shipping together or your quality check together anyway. lift it up put it against the wall marked the holes we will take it away drill the holes and then uh, attach it permanently to the wall yeah it's it's true it's quite tall so i wouldn't normally attach it to the wall at least in my country it's not something that we usually do to attach stuff like this to the wall but yeah it's a good safety feature considering it also has glass uh, mirror on the front doors at the same time working on this which is not moving anywhere but they also tell you to attach it to the wall I'm not going to attach that one to the wall but this yep 
getting ready to put the screws in and yes I'm a bit cheeky and using uh, the, the fixing elements <coughs> the fixing elements from this thing that again I'm not putting on the wall because I cannot I cannot put this down even if I try to so by itself it will never go down Anyway, I will almost fully tighten this and then I will use uh, other things which are this to hold it in position. In the end I decided something else, put a washer in here and I'm not tightening this because I don't want to put this fully against the wall. And I will explain you why. As you can see I have this next to the wall, so if I pull it fully next to the wall like this, it will look like crap because I have a gap down there and zero gap up here. So this is just a safety feature that you cannot pull this onto yourself because those things will not allow it basically. Those covers are in, you simply push them in position. Now they tell us to put covers onto these things. But why would I have covers onto these? But not on all of these things, I don't know. But I'm going to buy separately from other stores cover for this because they, uh, IKEA does not sell them. But they do sell in, uh, I think, 200 packs covers for these holes. And I will buy uh, some of those later during the year. Because this just looks like an unfinished thing with all of those holes. And in the future, if I want to move anything, I just take out the cover and move it. So that's simple. Okay, other two here in the bottom. Yes, in the bottom, sorry. From here, you have a screw head. Philips, you can adjust uh, this thing, you know. But for me, I just let it stay on this and that's it covering. Now let's put on the doors. Unboxing the bigger door which presumably will be at that end towards the wall and the smaller one here. So this is kind of it. And yes it's grey because they don't have it in white. Thank you IKEA. Why is it only in grey? I don't know. But I needed a big uh, mirror in this room. So Great it is. Hmm, the hinges are not included with this. All that you have included is the little uh, thingy to open it. And they are not included with this also, because this is meant to be also left open. So depending on how you want to configure it, probably the hinges are in some other packages that we received. So fun and games, search for hinges. Forgot to tell you that I also configured this thing with one of these bars. Let me show you. Okay, but the problem is I received it kind of like uh, this. These are the supports at the end. So this kind of sucks, if you know what I mean. Uh, I will take this one uh, uh, to my current home and see if I have some plastic glue, not super glue, that's not good enough, some plastic that actually melts and makes kind of a plastic weld to put this thing together. And I will install it somehow that the, all the pressure will be on this part of it. Fun and games. Found the hinges for uh, this. They were in a completely different uh, package with more hinges for different products. And I think this complement series is made to add stuff to other, uh, uh, I don't know, elements or uh, cabinets or who knows what. Because this is complement, the bar that I showed you before is complement, so yeah. Anyway, so uh, let's undo this, flip this around and install them as they show us here onto the mirror and then onto the rest of the cabinet like we see here and hope for the best.
one hinge is in. As you can see from three of them, two are soft close and one is not. So this one will be going in the middle and the soft close will be going at the top. This is the soft close mechanism. But I have no clue what this little guy is. It's somehow touching the soft close right down in there, but it doesn't seem to do anything. So your guess is as good as mine. Let me install these things. They do not come apart. So you install it like this and uh, it's already there when you tighten the screws onto the cabinet, the frame itself. To adjust these hinges up and down after you fully tighten the screws. So the, these things can be fully tightened. But I want to tell you, it's easier to adjust once you own, uh, only have one and have somebody help you when, on holding the door up and you can hold it with your foot up. Uh, it's hard to adjust three of them. So you do this one a little bit, this one a little bit, this one a little bit, really hard. The door is quite heavy. But if you adjust it only one where you want it on height, then uh, the other two you can adjust when they are not attached. So when you attach them, they are directly adjusted well, because as you can see, we have some small lines in here. So for me, I took this uh, whole thing, the whole door, about two millimeters upwards or something like that compared to the factory position. And yeah, to make sure the door is adjusted like this, from this screw, you can undo it and it will pull in there. To adjust on this direction from this screw, you undo it, adjust it and then tighten it back. And yeah, that's about it. This first door is okay now, let me install the second one and uh, make sure they go well together. Second door in place and somewhere around there it's the area where it was dented, I think there. It's not that bad anymore, I'm not bothering to send it back and yeah, you can see it, you can see it, but anyway, uh, we have two little girls, white furniture, you do the mat, this will get banged up in, uh, in a while. Now, uh, don't forget to put in the little rubbers, they make sure everything is in place, and now we will be installing these little things. And yes, initially you will think that the space between the doors when they are closed might be a bit uh, too big, but uh, no, because this also needs to fit, so yeah, it's okay. The height for today, uh, these things, you decide yourself, it's not set anywhere. This is installed, as you can see, looking really nice, it's, it's sheet metal, chrome sheet metal, quite nice, not uh, cheap plastic. And I installed one of these uh, wall door stops because I don't want to bang this wall too much. These are the things. Uh, I'm not sure if IKEA has them, I got them from uh, Lidl. So next, this one on the other door and start installing stuff inside. Okay, and now I took a picture when I was configuring this uh, thing, this wardrobe, and you can see where I decided to put uh, shelves, but I think the bottom ones are a bit too far apart and too high, probably. Uh, anyway, the idea is that something like this I will do in real life. So yeah, take a picture when you are configuring this thing, because you might forget if it takes too much until you actually install it attached these things for the bar, for the clothes hanger, and we'll get the bar, uh, the bar in here from the back. As you can see, there's a pin that will enter the hole. Uh, for the level, I'm basically at eye level or something like that, but you decide. So at this point, yeah, I need to stretch this thing a bit with my hand somehow. <coughs> And it clipped in on one side, clipped in on the other, and this is the broken one. But I installed it in such a way that hopefully it can still hold some weight. 
We'll see. If it doesn't, I will do something in here with a small piece of wood with just a bit of round in it so this stays on it. But I don't think uh, it's going to be an issue. Camera focus. Okay, now let's put shelf on top of it and on the bottom and we should be done. For the shelves we will use these um, fixing elements that are in here uh, and as you can see we have holes here so these are completely different from the shelves that I have for example in the kitchen. Those just sit on something, these will actually attach with a screw to the wall of the wardrobe and have a pin that will enter this hole. So they will actually give structural stability. Awesome. Let's see what material they are. Are they metal or plastic? If they are metal, that's actually awesome. If they are plastic, yeah, they are still good, but less than awesome. Let's say like that. Yeah, be back. Hello, my friend, plastic. Anyway, they should do the job. It's not really easy to break them, I think. Let's get them in there. Camera focus. And they are ready, but they are not tighten, uh, tightened. I pushed them all the way in, but I want to actually install the shelf on top of them because, as you can see, you can rotate them. So if they are not all aligned, the shelf will not go in and uh, force will put them in a wrong direction, and I don't want that. And I will tighten them with the shelf on, which will be a bit harder, but anyway. And this thing is finished. Ended up going just with one. And the second, uh, second it's here because wife will decide if we actually use two or not when she will start putting clothes in there. Uh, yeah, it's already open so I cannot send it back, but yeah, we'll see. And that's about that for this cabinet. Obviously it needs to be wiped. But looking pretty good okay and this thing 100% finished with the mal uh, cabinet next to it and they seem to go together decently well in my opinion better than I expected it because mal doesn't have something like this and Pax doesn't really have something like this that I wanted so yep you can mix and match these two and that's about it. Hope this video helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one. Bye!